Hello, welcome back to Road Stuff and Things. Today I'm starting a new series of videos to sort of help my acting line a bit more during this coronavirus pandemic. This is self-tape number one of hopefully many from scripts that I enjoy. This is my first script that I'm going with. It's Lou from Nightcrawler. It's from the first two to three minutes of the movie. After the scene, I'll be doing a little bit of a rundown. You don't have to watch it if you don't want to, but it's a sort of a rundown of how I approach the character, how I approach the script, and how I sort of made a self-tape. And it might be able to help you if you want to make a self-tape. Enjoy. I guess to me I'll have 50 pounds of copper wire, 100 pounds of chain link, and two manhole covers. The nice, thick ones. I'll give 50 cents a pound for the wire, 15 for the fence, and 10 for the covers. That's below market value. Market value? You know the cops came by asking about manhole covers. I'd like to counter it. A dollar a pound for the copper, 30 cents a pound for the fence, and 20 cents per for the covers. Send them somewhere else. I'd feel good at 75, 25, 15. I'm not negotiating with you. I think we're close. We're done. Take it or leave it. I'm willing to take less to establish a business relationship. If that's your last best offer, I guess I accept. Drive around the back of my mode then. Um, sir, excuse me. I'm looking for a job. In fact, I made up my mind to find a career I can learn and grow into. Who am I? I'm a hard worker. I set high goals and have been told I'm very persistent. Now, I'm not fooling myself, sir. Having been raised in the self-esteem movement so popular in schools, I used to expect my needs to be considered, but I know today's job culture no longer caters to the work loyalty that could be promised to earlier generations. What I believe, sir, is that good things come to those who work their asses off. And people such as yourself who reach the top of the mountain didn't just fall there. My motto is if you want to win the lottery, you have to make the money to buy a ticket. Did I say I worked in a garage? Sir, I think you and I would work well together. I can start tomorrow, even why not tonight? How about an internship then? Uh, a lot of young people are taking unpaid positions to get their foot in the door. That's something I'd be willing to do. I'm not hiring a fucking thief. All right, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the scene. I wanted to sort of run down my approach and how I approach the character of Lou, how I approach the script and how I pick the right script and how really as an actor you should be looking in these self tapes and how sometimes on set you should be thinking. The first thing is, I'm not gonna teach you how to act in these. This is sort of how to approach your attitude on set and how to approach how to get the best from your performance and get the best from your director. How did I pick this scene? Honestly, I just picked a scene I liked to start with as a first script. Maybe in the future I'll pick scenes that I think are a little bit more appropriate or scenes that I want to do roles of. I thought Lou was such an interesting character and I thought this duologue is always a good pick. I always think to pick duologues because duologues are the best way to showcase your ability with other actors. It's all well and good to show a monologue off, but if you can show that with a duologue and how you work and react with other people, that's the most important thing you're gonna find. And I think a lot of good actors' performances rely on that. You might wonder why I got my self-tape partner to leave the last line in after the monologue. That's all because of the reaction. Again, that's one of the most important things you can do. So I thought this was the right scene because of the duologue, the monologue that's featured within it. I like to look at my scenes and my scripts and my characters in two lenses, a microscope and a macroscope. It's something you might have heard of in your time in English class or in drama class itself or theatre class if you want to call it that. However, on set you want to be thinking in a macroscopic lens. Let's talk the microscopic lens first because that's the one that actually matters the least. Microscopic lens is your character's choice. You can often pick things such as your clothes that you think your character might wear. If you're using a script that are from a movie or from a famous film or famous scene, you don't want to pick something that the character already wore. You want to pick something sort of resembling it and you always want to stick to yourself tape colors of navy, grey, colors that you know go well against a neutral background. Another thing is your character choice of actions but as actors or as people watching this you can already find your character niche, you might already be an advanced actor so I'm not going to go into that too much because that's a personal thing, you can pick whatever motivates your character, whatever motivates your scene but that's the microscopic lens, those are all such small things in compared to the macroscopic view so that's looking as a whole, looking at scenes as a whole, looking at how this scene fits into the rest of the film, how it fits into the director's vision and not yours. I can't stress that enough, it's not your vision, it is the director's and the writer's. And how to analyze this, first of all, you can ask your director, that's probably a good start. Another way to do this is watch the whole film, read the whole script, sort of find ways in which these things from your scene harken back or harken towards the end or harken towards the future of the character. So what I really as a Nightcrawler is that Lou likes to list things, he likes to show off his intelligence. He kind of a creep as well, he doesn't understand social cues at times, he doesn't understand that he is a bit different from people and it reflects well at the end of the film when he is dating a camera woman or he's embarking on his new job as a freelance camera reporter.
Steady hands. Use your zoom. You saw him. I can't jeopardize my company's success to retain an untrustworthy employee. A lot of these things start here in his ability to rant off this whole ideology about how the world works. Nightcrawler in itself is a reflection of modern society. And if you want to show this weird character that Lou is, you need to have the, the traits to embody that vision a little bit better. That's why I tried to speak a little bit faster during that monologue, even though in most monologues I would suggest taking your time. Sometimes the best performances come from taking it slower and taking it with a little bit more patience. And in your ability to talk slower, you'll be able to think of your next line, you'll be able to properly formulate a character's response. Another way I did this was his listing of guesstimations and numbers, how many numbers of copper wire I had to remember and how many numbers of this and that. It was stressful. However, the most important thing about that is what does that mean? What do the numbers have to do with the future, the macroscope? It's again, it's adding to this character of Lou, who he is. We're finding out about him. It's the first five minutes of the film. We want to know who Lou is, who is this night crawler, as it were. So I think that might be one of the macroscopic things. You want to show his confidence, his ability. He's a smart person. He's just not got his way in life, such as it is, I'm sure, with many of us stuck in jobs that we hate trying to do a dream like sequence of being an actor, being a director, being a filmmaker, being a sports person, being whatever. This character of Lou is a smart character and that can be reflected easily, I mean, in your performance. I hope that helps with your self tapes. I hope choosing that microscopic, macroscopic view helps. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. But if you liked the scene, if you enjoyed watching me do this, please leave a like, hit a subscribe, and I hope to see you soon.